Hi. We're gonna learn the D pentatonic ma major scale cage system. Before you get into the cage system, if you didn't go through each individual, the five position or the five pattern of the D pentatonic major, then you're going to have a hard time to understand the case system, how it connect and I have video for pattern number one to through five okay we're gonna start the lesson let it play pattern number one <laughs> Let us play pattern number two. Now let us play pattern number three. Now let it play pattern number four. Let it play pattern number five. I can tell it to display fingering. Tell it to display scale degree or display interval. Let's go back to note. Pattern number one is neighbor is pattern number two. Number one and number two, they share some common note note on second fret third fret and fourth fret of pattern number one they are carry over to pattern number two you can see on the second fret pattern number one and pattern number two look the same same note Fret number three of pattern number one carry over on number three of pattern number two. The F sharp on four fret of pattern number one. Four string it carry to pattern number two. The most important note to carry over is the roots, the D on second string, third fret of pattern 1 it's also going to be on pattern number 2 second string third fret pattern number 2 start with the F sharp on 6th string second fret walk up the scale you will see the root the D on 5th string, 5th fret in red you walk up the scale you see another root on 2nd string, 1st fret walk up the scale until you play the A on 1st string, 5th fret let's turn the finger to see See pattern number one. You open string on four string to play the root, and it used the ring finger to play the root on second string third fret. At pattern number two, 
it changed the finger now it used the second finger to play the root on second string third fret and it used the pinky finger to play the root on fifth string fifth fret pattern number two its neighbor is pattern number one and pattern number three pattern number two and pattern number three they share common notes let's turn it back to note note on fourth fret and fifth fret of pattern number two they are carry over on pattern number three same fret same note as you can see most important note to carry over for pattern num number three is the root on fifth string fifth fret pattern number three start with an A on sixth string fifth fret walk up the scale you see the first root the D on fifth string fifth fret walk up the scale you see another root on fourth string seventh fret walk up the scale to finish the pattern at the B on first string seventh fret let's turn to finger to see what finger to use for the root this time okay on pattern number three the root it changed to the middle finger when you play the root on fifth string fifth fret and you use the pinky to play the root on fourth string seventh fret okay let's go back to note pattern number three its neighbor is pattern number two and also pattern number four pattern number three and pattern number four they share some common note you see all the note on pattern number three seven fret the B, the F sharp, the D, the A, the E, the B they carry over to pattern number 4 they're identical the most important note is the D on 3rd string 7th fret so pattern number 4 start with the B on 6th string 7th fret Walk up the scale you see the first root the D on 6th string 10th fret walk up the scale you can see another root on 3rd string 7th fret walk up the scale to finish the pattern you see another root on 1st string 10th fret let's turn finger to see what finger to use to play the root the root on 3rd string 7th fret now we use the index on pattern number 4 you see on pattern number 3 it use the pinky that's why it sh we shift different fingering and we use a pinky to play the root on 6th string 10th fret also on 1st I'm sorry we use the pinky to play the root on 6th string 10th fret and 1st string 10th fret okay let's play put it on note pattern number 4 has neighbor is pattern number 3 also pattern number 5 
pattern number five and number four they share the same common note note on ninth fret and tenth fret of pattern number four they are carry over to make pattern number five in the same fret same string same location number four to number five it the root the D on sixth string ten fret part number five start at the root six string ten ten fret we walk up the scale we see another root on four string twelve twelve fret work up the scale to finish the pattern we see another root on first string ten fret let's turn the finger to see what fingering to use for the root we see the use a second finger the middle finger to play the root on six string ten fret we, we use a pinky to play the root on four string twelve fret and we use a index finger to play the root on first string 10 fret okay, I'm gonna turn it to note and let it play forward I'm gonna make it <laughs> Here is the other views with six string low E on top, first string or high E at the bottom. Let it play forward. Welcome to outside and see real lesson in flash you can have full control of it this is a video capture so I can only set it at a certain speed maybe it's too fast for someone or maybe too slow for someone else so go to my website it's free and get access to all lesson in flash where you have full control of the lesson many many more the future so just start playing with part number one set your tempo up so you feel comfortable at the speed that you don't make mistake slowly walk using the right fingering play from the sixth string open string walk up the scale when you go to the end of the pattern go back walk down the scale do this about five times at least you know without breaking take a break train your finger when you feel you play better set your tempo up faster and do it over again you do this every day you know when you're really good at it set up the tempo even faster and do it make sure you do it loud and clean and clear every note you play when you're good at it you can play it in randomly put your feeling on it skip some note start in different order put some bending push up hammer on hammer off vibrate when you do the same thing to pattern number two practice 
over and over and over using the same technique you get better increase it play it ten times before taking a break and when you're good at it trying to connect the five pattern play a few notes on pattern number one slide over number two play some few more note slide over number three play some more note slide over number four play some more note and go to number five play some more note you can go in descending or ascending do it every day and you will be happy randomly play on the entire fretboard put your feeling on certain note explore it you will come up with a lick or a solo I see you in next lesson